If you could be buried anywhere, what would your favorite place to be buried? Anywhere? Anywhere, if you could choose. In a video game. <laughs> video game. <laughs> Hello. I'm Nora. Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm Sander. I'm Oscar. Oscar? I'm Atlas. Do you know what we're here to talk about? No. Do you have any guesses what we're here to talk about? Mm, I don't know. I'll give you a hint. She's dressed in all black. Are you a ninja? I'm not a ninja. Okay. I'm a mortician. I've never heard that word in my life. I'm also a funeral director. You take videos of funerals? No. Do you know what a funeral is? Yeah. It's when somebody passed away and then you go to celebrate their life. Yeah. So I'm the person that a family calls after someone's died to help make those arrangements. Do you have like discussions with the past? Or not with them, but <laughs> <laughs> with their families? I do, yeah. yeah. My grandpa died this year, so we had a lot of those. Oh, yeah. yeah. What do you think happens to someone after they die? They go underground. They go underground, so that's called a burial. So what happens when you're buried in the ground is your body decomposes. Do you know what that word means? Mm, no idea. Yeah, it breaks down. Breaks down. What else decomposes? Your compost. Heart? Compost, yep. Yeah. Yes. Do you know what compost is used for? Yard? To reuse things. Yeah, it's used in your yard. It's dirt. The longer someone's buried, the more they decompose. Wait, so if they put you in like one of those boxes and then they opened it up, you'd just be a bunch of dirt? Eventually. Wait, I don't want to pick up dirt anymore. <laughs> Not all dirt is humans. Are there like bugs crawling around if when you're decomposing? Yeah, that's part of the cycle of life is you're under the ground and there's bugs and different bacteria and organisms all working together to break down the body to turn it into soil. Ew. Mm -hmm. So if that idea doesn't appeal to you, then cremation is when the body is reduced really quickly using fire. They put you on fire? They put you on fire. What? It's a special machine that the body's placed in. Like an oven? Mm-hmm. Oh. It's called a retort. Mm. And then the bones are heated so hot that they break apart, and then that's what cremated remains are. That's the ashes that people get back is ground up pieces of bone. And it's kind of like getting a bag of sand. Does the sand look different than playing sand? It looks a little different than playing sand. It's kind of grainy and dusty. My mom has our cat ashes, mm -hmm. so in like a jar. So it's the same thing that happens with pets and with people, but they're separate machines, machines that yeah. do those. Yeah. What are the other options to get rid of a dead body? You can donate your body to science. Oh, yeah. And right. so it can be studied by medical schools. There's another method called aquamation, which is the reduction of the body using water instead of fire. That'd be weird. Yeah. Mom, can you cheer for me to get buried? <laughs> How many dead bodies have you seen? I've probably seen hundreds of dead bodies. Do dead bodies, like, do they ever move or make a noise? Sometimes. If there's still air inside the body after someone's died and the air needs to come out, it might brush against the vocal cords and cause a little bit of a sound. That's creepy. It, it would be creepy. Do you think death is kind of creepy? Yeah, I'm actually quite frankly terrified. Yeah. <laughs> just because like everything just stops mm -hmm. and like you, as far as we know, you don't ever have a, another time to be alive. So I don't know. Death is a hard thing to talk about. And so there's lots of phrases that people use to kind of make it seem a little bit softer, kind of easier to talk about. Do you know what some other words for dying or death is? Perished. Perished. That's a good one. In a video game, eliminated. Eliminated, that's a good one. How do you think you want to die? Oh, if only we could choose how. Mm -hmm. I hope I go just quietly in my sleep at some point. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? <laughs> it's a hard thing to think mm -hmm. about. Have you ever thought about it? No. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had to do a child funeral? I have, unfortunately. Very sad. It was really sad. It's one of the only times I've had 
um, a real cry in front of a family it was when a child died. We were all crying together. How do you um, help a sad person whose loved one has passed? Just being there to listen. It's one thing to recognize you can't fix someone who's sad. Mm -hmm. It's not your job to cheer them up. Mm -hmm. It's your job to be supportive. Should I be very quiet at a funeral? It depends on the funeral. Some funerals are a little bit more of like a party atmosphere and celebration. Why would you celebrate when someone died? You're not celebrating that they died. You're celebrating who they were as a person. So if Jay-Z died, then would they sing his songs? I bet they would sing Jay-Z's songs at his funeral, no doubt. <laughs> That'd be an awesome funeral to go to, wouldn't it? Not that I want anything to happen to Jay-Z. <laughs> I'm Nora Menken. Thank you for watching Kids Meet a Mortician. If you want to learn more about me and my funeral home, there will be links down below. Check out more Kids Meet videos and don't forget to subscribe. What's the weirdest thing you've ever seen written on a tombstone? One of my favorites is a grandma had her famous cookie recipe put on her tombstone because she always said her family would get the recipe over her dead body. <laughs>